Hi, this is Dr. Mike Hoyan answering the question, what is a muscle cramp and um, what can be done about it? Well, muscle cramps are actually the medical definition is a, a, uh, a contraction of the, of the muscles in any part of your body, usually the leg, uh, that is defined as being painful. If it's not painful, you, it isn't a, a muscle cramp. It's something else. It's a, a twitch or a spasm. But a muscle cramp is, by definition, painful. And it's painful because what happens is, uh, for reasons that aren't completely clear why, why it leads to this endpoint, but the endpoint is that the muscle goes into a state of uh, what, what's the medical term is called tetany. That's the medical term that describes when the muscle fibers are just constricting nonstop. They never relax. Normally, your muscles contract, and then they relax, contract, and relax. Uh, and in this case, the muscle just contracts and does not relax. When it's in that state of, of tetany or contraction, there's um, small arteries that normally deliver oxygen and, and uh, glucose and nutrients to the muscle so it can survive. During that period of time, the muscle is contracting so tightly that the little arteries inside the muscle uh, are squeezed off and no blood or limited blood gets into the muscle. The result is that the muscle, which normally depends on oxygen for its, its uh, energy source, has to rely on a different kind of energy source, which is uh, basically uh, uh, resulting in the development of lactic acid. So uh, lactic acid does not require oxygen for, uh, to generate, and the lactic acid production um, is what allows the muscle to actually continue functioning. It produces some energy, which is ATP. But the penalty is that the lactic acid builds up. The lactic acid is uh, extremely painful, and it's, it builds up in the tissues. And eventually, the reason why a cramp stops is because the lactic acid has an effect on the muscle itself, a direct effect, which inhibits the ability of the muscle to contract. So at a certain level of lactic acid development or pain, the muscle stops contracting. Now that's pretty painful to get to that point. And most people who have cramps, you know, experience and describe the incredible pain. And they describe that it just all of a sudden stopped. They've tried maneuvers, et cetera. But usually after uh, three to five minutes, the muscle will fail. That is the contraction of the muscle will, will stop and it will relax on its own because of lactic acid. So people run and get a remedy of whatever type and then they apply it or they take it. And then uh, with, and it takes a couple minutes to, to work. Really most likely what that represents is the, the end result of the muscle going through a process of fatigue. And then it just can't, it can't contract anymore because of that lactic acid. One of the things that's very characteristic of a cramp is after it occurs, the muscle has been injured. It's been injured and is sore for 24 hours or more. People can reach down in their calf where they had a cramp the previous night and they can touch it and it still hurts. That's because of that unrelenting uh, contraction of the muscle. And so it's not a very good thing. It's not healthy for your, your circulation. Um, I do have a, a technique which actually will interrupt a, a cramp it, uh, within about 15 seconds. And it's based upon my understanding of the pathway of control of muscle contraction, which I believe has a, a reflex loop at the level of the spinal cord. And this interrupts that uh, reflex loop of, um, of nerve impulses going to the muscle. Uh, I have a, a separate um, a video on that. Uh, but uh, cramps are um, can be due to a number of causes. Um, and sometimes we, we can figure out what's causing it. Sometimes we can't. Very commonly, it's seen with renal failure. And um, it's seen with muscular, neuromuscular diseases, um, what we call degenerative conditions of the nervous system. Uh, people that have difficulty with their mobility and their balance because of this neurologic condition. Um, people that have spinal cord injuries can have cramps as well. Um, so cramps um, can also occur uh, with reduced uh, 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 circulation from arteries as well as uh, veins. 
And so the venous circulation we see very commonly has a, a uh, association of cramps. The interesting and I think unique quality of the cramps that occur with vein circulation, which allows me to meet a patient and hear their story, I can tell them with high degree of certainty whether their cramps are related to their veins. And it's because the cramps that are coming from their veins occur at night and, and sometimes during the day, but they always occur at night. People that don't have cramps at night, uh, it's not from their veins. I can tell people with certainty. The remarkable thing that I've discovered as a practitioner is that when people have nighttime cramps and they have abnormal vein circulation, there is a 95% probability that the night of the first vein treatment, the cramps in that leg will go away. Sometimes it requires a second treatment. Uh, the follow-up treatment might be a sclerotherapy, for example. But in most cases, it goes away, and it's 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 a it's a it's it's so predictable that I tell patients that, and most of them aren't sure if I'm I'm actually uh, a snake oil salesman because I'm I'm so certain of it. But it is one of the few things I experience in medicine that is is very predictable and very satisfying because I know that that is one of the most painful things people go through, and there aren't really any good remedies. Some things I've heard from patients uh, that have helped. And certainly I've read a lot in the literature, but nothing really has been shown to, to be uh, predictably able to control a, a leg cramp or prevent it. But things that patients try are um, wearing compression stockings. That can help if you have a vein, a vein condition that's causing it. Uh, there are people that have gotten iron infusions. Now that's kind of a... Uh, a big deal to get an iron infusion or a, a, a blood transfusion. Uh, people can take iron supplements. That seems to help have helped some people, but it's not consistent. Uh, you can take magnesium or potassium supplements. That can help as well. And I, I would suggest magnesium and potassium supplements are something if you're going to take those, you want to make sure you you check with your either your pharmacist or your your medical provider to make sure those aren't interfering with any other medicines you're on. Um, and, uh, you know, another common source of, uh, of vitamin, of uh, potassium is bananas. So people eat bananas and they swear by it. So those are other remedies you can try. But for people that have cramps at night, I can tell you that is almost certainly going to be due to vein circulation problems. The best way to get that sorted out is to get a vein ultrasound. And that requires a, a, an exam where you're done, which is done standing up. That's the only way to really tell if the veins are working normally or not. And that will identify what's called vein reflux. If that's present, then a vein treatment will most certainly help. Um, so this is Dr. Michael Ryan answering the question, what is a cramp and uh, what can be done to help it?